Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are installing XFCE the fast way. We are going as fast as possible and I'll show you how to really quickly get XFCE up and running and get kind of a theme going where we have a file manager that literally looks like Mac OS. So make sure to subscribe if you're new and hit the like if you find this video helpful. Also leave a comment on which theme you're using on XFCE or if you made it yourself. So let's get right into it. First up, the packages. What we need is sudo pacman dash s. Uh, I'll just put syu just in case. And then we need first of all xorg, then xfce4, and then xfce4 goodies, and then lightdm. I'm using lightdm, but you can use any um, display manager you want. You can use gdm, you can use sddm, whichever you prefer. But I'm going with LightDM. But for LightDM, there are a few things that you need. So if you try to use uh, LightDM and it didn't work, uh, this is probably the reason why. Because LightDM itself doesn't actually work. You need some a few things. So LightDM, GTK, uh, settings. So these are the things that we need. So if I hit enter, it should start installing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, what is this? Okay, yeah, I missed a few things. This will be greeter and then settings. I'm really sorry, my bad, but this is the command that we need. So now, there we go. After that is installed, we can do sudo pack, not pack minus, sudo systemctl and then enable dash dash now and we can do uh, light dm. So if I hit enter, this should enable LightDM for us. So now if I log in, there we go. Now we have XFCE installed. And if, if this bar is really on the bottom of the screen, don't worry, I did a bit of customization in here just to address that. Uh, but now this is pretty bare bones. And as you can see, there is not much to look at here and there's no themes, but how do you actually install themes? So if I go to my file explorer, so right here, Oh my god, this is so blinding. And you can go to view and then show hidden files. And in here, you need two files. One is dot themes and another one is dot icons. Or if you go to dot local, in here you should find, hey, there we go, icons. So you can put icons and stuff here. I do have a few configured uh, just to show you and so it doesn't take too long. And now, how do you get these themes? Uh, we need a browser. Just go to any browser of your choosing and then just search for xfce themes and there should be uh, this right here which is uh, which will contain a lot of themes and also uh, in case you don't like anything in here this gtk3 or 4 theme these are also like compatible with xfce and they do kind of work as well so as you can see there are a few themes and just to show you i won't be using the ones that i have already installed i will get Hmm, maybe this one. Let's just get the top one. Let's see how does this fare. So, yeah, it, it's pretty decent looking. If I go to files and then it's download, it should just straight up download it. There we go. It is downloaded. Now, there are, again, two ways to do this. First, we have to extract it. So, I'll go to my downloads and then there we go. Now we can extract it with arc and other things. I can do extract here or we can do it the terminal way. As you see, that's what the archive manager found. But uh, we'll do it from ter terminal. If you don't know which uh, how to do these things, there's a video on my channel that explains every type of zips and archives. So make sure to check that out. Go to the downloads folder first. So cd dot slash downloads. And then now we can do tar dash uh, xvf. And then we can do night and then hit enter. There you go. It is extracted. Now, once this is extracted, as you can see, there is a few things in here. We have GTK3, F4. There is a lot of things. Then now, if I just copy this folder and then paste it onto my themes folder right here, this theoretically should work. Let's see if it does. There we go. It is right there. And as you can see, it got that theme. Now, you might notice that it doesn't look exactly the same as 
um, the one on the browser. So it's not exactly the same. That's because, well, there's a lot of configuration that goes on to these themes. Now that's just a general idea of how to get themes like installed on your system, but there is a lot more to it. So to just to demonstrate uh, one of those things, if I just go to this where it's dark, uh, you'll notice that it's a bit more refined. It looks a bit better. So how did I get here? So what I did was, so I went to this GitHub page right here. Uh, I'll try to put it in the description, but it's basically uh, Vince Lewis. I, think I butchered that name, sorry. But what's the GTK theme? All you have to do is just uh, download this and then install it. And how do you install it? Now, once you download it, so let me just go to my downloads folder. Not downloads, I think I have it here. Yeah, this one, uh, where's the GTK theme? So once you have the, uh, get the kit theme, you'll get into here. Then you have to run it, the install.ssh. So here's how that looks. So now that uh, we do, let me just go to CD. So the command for it is, let me go. This is the command and it does say it right here. If you just scroll down a bit, uh, it does say it right here, how to just install it. So just type in these two commands and it should be good to go. Once you have done that, so let me just close this. And then uh, if I just go to appearance, and just to show you how good this work, appearance, I'll just uh, do, what is this solid? No, anyway, I'll get this, icons, oh, it's a dark. Then if I just re-log, log out, and then if I just re-log in, Let's see that it's pretty close. Uh, if I go to my file manager, like you can see it's a finder logo. If I open it, yeah, this kind of looks like um, your Mac OS look. So basically, you can customize it however you want. If you want to go full crazy mode and just change the wallpaper and everything, then you can also do that as well. So the sky's the limit on how you want to customize it. There are manual ways to customize these GTK themes. But that's beyond the scope of this video. I just wanted to show you how to install it and how to get a kind of theme up and running on the system. So that's about it for installing XSC and getting a basic thing of theme up and running. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe and leave a like on the video. And also check out my channel. There are other fun stuff that you can check out and other distributions or other desktop environment that you can install. So make sure to check those out as well. For any type of beginners, I would recommend KDE because it has a lot of customization. If you want to go lightweight, then XFC is the way to go. So, if you have checked all of those out, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.